What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a Halloween haul. I'm going to go look at Michael's, maybe Hobby Lobby, and maybe um, Home Goods and Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure yet, depending on what I find. But stay tuned and come along with me. Also, before we get into the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It means so much to me. Thank you for your support, and we'll get into the video. All right, you guys, I'm about to head into Michael's. I will insert some clips of what they have, and then in the end, I'm going to do a video of everything that I got and saw, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, I am back. I just went to Michael's, TJ Maxx. And Bath and Body Works and I got a few items that I'm really excited to show you guys uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clips right now of what they had at Michaels I didn't really get to film TJ Maxx or Bath and Body Works so this is Michaels um, yearly haunted house set which was really cool but they were sold out of most of them and they were super expensive Next is the Witch Isle. They had a lot of Hocus Pocus items, potion bottles, and books, and door hangers. A lot of the classic Halloween items. Then I went down an aisle. They had more of the pastel Halloween items, which was like pink, white, and black. They had a lot of skulls, candles, pillows, and just a lot of skeleton decor for this aisle. Next, they had the terrace reading aisle, where they had a lot of the gold, black, silver and white items they had a lot of fortune telling signs some fortune telling globes and a lot of potion books last they had another aisle which was mainly circus items cats and pumpkins which is one of my favorites it has the classic halloween colors of black orange and green which was one of the best aisles i think i got a few items at michael's I'll show you guys what I got at Michael's first. So first I got, um, it was it's this cute uh, skeleton couple in a boat with like a little lantern hanging. And this is probably the only thing I liked from the their like pink and black Halloween decor. And I just got this just because it kind of represents me and my husband. So we kind of wanted something to put up for Halloween that could kind of represent us. So I got that. And then I also got this really cute sign that says Witch's Way. It's super cute. I love it. And the theme I kind of wanted this year was kind of Hocus Pocus, witch themed. That's just more of my, I like the classic Halloween decor, like orange and black just really like spooky and then I found this cauldron and I'm obsessed with it it's amazing it's a big cauldron and it says witch's brew on it I'm obsessed with it it's so cute and you can put whatever you want in it I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it yet maybe I'll just fill it with candy or something and then oh yeah and then I got this giant sign. I'm obsessed with this sign. I'm gonna put it up on my wall somewhere, but it's this humongous sign that says, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I'm so obsessed. And they didn't even have it out on the shelves where you could see it. They were like piled on a stack laying flat so you couldn't see what they were. But I'm super happy I found them. And then they also had, in one of the clips you saw, they had like that Halloween village with all the different houses. And they had a new one this year. It was the clown house where it had like the clown faces in it and stuff. But they were sold out of it when we got there. They didn't have any of the clown houses left. So I was really sad because I really wanted the clown house. Okay, next is TJ Maxx. So TJ Maxx was just starting to put their Halloween stuff out. So I didn't get very much but I got this sign it was the only one out on the shelf and it says the witch is in and there's like some sparkly bats on it and stuff and it has a witch with her cauldron right at the very front super cute I love it and then I got this little it's like a haunted mansion it has like a ghost coming out of the window 
It's got a little dangly sign right here that says vacancy. And then I like that in the back you can put your own candles in it so the whole thing lights up because normally when you buy these kind of house, the haunted houses, they are pre-lit, but they don't very they don't really light up very much. So I like that I can put my own candle in it and choose the brightness of, of how bright it's gonna light up. And also it was really cheap compared to other places like that haunted house, this haunted house right here was $15 I think and other ones I've seen at stores are around $30 to $50 and I think that's just ridiculous. 50 bucks is way too much to be paying for a small little haunted house so TJ Maxx has some really good stuff for cheap. And then I also got this moon lamp. Here I'll put it on. It's just like a little moon. I kind of, I'm gonna put it on top of this candle holder I got from Bath and Body Works, I'll show you guys. But I just thought it was like a cute little globe for Halloween, kind of like a witch's ball, but I like it. And it was only like $5, so super cute. And then I also got a throw blanket from TJ Maxx and it just had witch's cauldrons on it with like witch boots, but I don't have it with me. I'll try and I'll insert a clip of the blanket later on. So this is the Halloween blanket I found at TJ Maxx. It's about a medium sized blanket. It's super soft, it's white, and it's got some witch feet with cauldrons and witch hats on it. It's super comfortable and I love it. So then I went to um, Bath and Body Works and I got a few items there as well. And this item is my favorite, it's super cute. So every year Bath and Body Works has their um, wall plugins. They have like a haunted house plugin every year. And the one this year, I love, I'm obsessed with it. It was probably the best one they've had so far. So this is what it looks like. It's got a, a witch's cauldron in the middle of the doorway and it's got like a pumpkin and an iron stand in the window with some trees. And I really like this one because my theme that I really like is witch theme and this portrays the witch theme super well. And also, something I didn't know, but someone, one of the workers told me that when it, when you plug this in, it doesn't just light up, there's a projector right here. So it projects a witch flying on her broom with her cat on your wall. So I'll insert a clip at the end of the video of what this looks like plugged into the wall with the witch projected onto the wall. So you guys can see how that looks, but I'm definitely obsessed with this one. And then, they were, I went when they were having their semi-annual sale, so I got this perfect pumpkin Halloween candle. It has like a, a black cat and like a haunted pumpkin patch, which I really love. Bath & Body Works has amazing candles this year for Halloween. Just like the scenes they have wrapped around the candles for Halloween this year are amazing. I really like them this year. And then every year Bath & Body Works has like their candle pedestals and I'm I'm really upset because the one I really wanted was the one it's like a, a globe and it has a spider web around it and, and the inside looks like a foggy foggy mist with like bats flying around inside of it and I it's sold out everywhere I cannot find it it's not online and people are selling it online but for a much higher price just because it's sold out so I'm really hoping that they restock on them because I really want one, but I saw this candle pedestal, so I just got it. But this is really cute too. Let me switch it on. Where's the switch at? Oh, it's on the side. So this is the pedestal I got. It's It's got sparkles on the inside and it lights up, so when you turn it on, the sparkles will spin around. And yeah, this is what it looks like. But this is what, like, I put my, um, I put the moon lamp on top of it, so it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a spooky witch's ball, which I really like. I think it works really well with this, but you can put whatever you want on top of it, a candle or whatever, but this is what, this is the last item I got from Bath & Body Works, and I'm obsessed with it. So this is what the Haunted Mansion wall plug-in looks like from Bath & Body Works. Yeah, that is what I got. Let me know in the comments if there's any places you guys want me to go look at. Anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in for my Halloween haul. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It means so much to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.